This is Ethan Port from TIBCO Software. In this movie, we will run the AS Operations Java Example Program to carry out space operations, and we will monitor these space operations in the ASMM utility. From the previous movie, we have some AS Agent processes running, which will automatically seed every space in the metaspace. And we have both AS Admin and ASMM processes running and connected to the same metaspace. Now we run examples.jar with these parameters, which is really running asoperations.java. The console messages report that AS Operations binds to TCP port 50004, which is the next available TCP port after 50000. Console messages show that AS Operations connects to the metaspace and is seen by the other metaspace members, so discovery is successful. AS Operations sees there are five current members. AS Operations itself, AS Admin, the two AS Agent Cedar processes, and the ASMM stat server process. Again, these are binding to TCP ports 50,000 through 50,004. The AS Operations code creates a new space named MySpace, and other Metaspace members join the space. In the ASMM GUI, you see the space named MySpace listed under the MS Metaspace. When you click on MySpace in the Metaspace Navigator section of ASMM, you see the space definition displayed. You see the space is in the ready state and that the replication count is 1 instead of the default value of 0, and you also see the other default values for space options. In the Schema tab, you see the fields for the space. There are three fields named Key, Value, and Time. The key is of type Integer, the value is a string, and the time parameter is of type date time. In the nullable column, you see the key field is required, but the other two fields are optional. In the Members tab, you see four Metaspace members have joined the MySpace space. The first two members are the two AS Agent processes, and these are seeders. The ASMM process also joins as a leech named Stat Server, so that it can display the space details. And finally, the AS Operations process also has joined as a leech. If we click on the upper AS Agent member, we see it currently is not seeding any data. Back in the MySpace details, we click on the Indices tab, and we see the key field is the primary key for the space. You can also create other indices on a space to speed up reads. A space index is similar to a database index that is defined to speed up specific queries. Now let's perform some space operations. First, we type P to put a tuple into the space. We set the key field to 100, and the value is set to 100. We see the put was successful. Notice the old value returns null, which indicates that there was not already a tuple with the same key value 100 in the space. So this put operation behaves like a database insert or upsert command because it is able to create a new tuple when a previous key value does not currently exist in the space. In the ASMM GUI, we see the tuple is seeded by the Agent2 process and is replicated in the first AS Agent process. Notice the AS Operations process which performed the put does not seed any data because it has joined the MySpace space as a leech. A technical point about space operations is that they are performed peer-to-peer, -peer, so in this case, from the AS Operations leech process directly to the AS Agent seeders. So the Metaspace Manager, which is AS Admin, does not participate in space operations. In the historical stats chart, you also see this one tuple put event reported in the graph. Now perform another put with the same key 100, but a new value field string. We see the put is successful, and now the old value returns the previous tuple with value 100 instead of the new string value, new value. ASMM shows the second put operation reported, but there is still only one entry reported, which is the key equals 100 tuple. The historical stats chart reports the second put operation and also shows that the number of entries in replication tuples remains fixed at 1 before and after this operation completed. This second space operation behaves like a database update or upsert command because the key integer 100 was already in the space before the put operation was called. So now we've shown that put operations really behave like database upsert commands. In later movies, you will see other API available to restrict the space operation to behave more like a database insert command 
which will only succeed if the key is not already in the space, or to perform an update type operation that will only succeed if the key is already in the space. Now, put a new tuple into the space with key and value equal to 200. ASMM reports this tuple was added to the agent 2 seeder and is replicated by the first agent process. The historical stats chart reports the second entry added to the space. Now we type G in AS operations to get the tuple with key equals 100. We see the updated value new value is returned. Now type T to take the tuple with key equals 200 from the space. Notice all the data in this tuple is returned by the take operation. So even though the data is removed from the space, the application has access to all deleted entries. This behavior could be useful if you're moving data from a space into other storage or external messaging interfaces. In a later movie, you'll see more about how these space operations work by running several processes competing for the same keys. ASMM reports this entry has been removed from the space. Now type G again to get the tuple with key equals 200, and you see it has been deleted from the space. Again, it may be more interesting if you run these different commands on different processes at the same time. The historical stats chart also shows the entry removed from the space. In this movie, you carried out some space operations, and you saw how these operations are reported in the ASMM utility. In the next movie, we continue this demonstration to show transaction groupings of space operations and the failure behavior. You can find more training material and other resources at activespaces.tibco.com, and you can communicate with other TIBCO users at tibcommunity.com, and you can find other training options at 10.tibco.com. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.